we cannot allow a recurrence of the chaos and illegal activity that the United States and the world witnessed last week. A labyrinth of fencing, barbed wire, concrete barriers, and a flood of more than 20,000 National Guard troops are fortifying Washington, D.C., just days before Joe Biden's presidential inauguration. We have a special responsibility that there is a peaceful transition of power in our country. We want to make sure that that event is peaceful. The city's mayor giving an update Friday as the U.S. Capitol continues to step up security, blocking access to landmarks like the National Mall. This is essentially the monumental core, the area around the White House um, and sections of Pennsylvania Avenue. Security is always tight for presidential inaugurations. But measures are being ramped up as officials warn of threats of armed unrest in all 50 states, possibly starting as early as Saturday. We're concerned about the potential for violence at multiple protests and rallies planned here in D.C. and at state capitol buildings around the country in the days to come that could bring armed individuals within close proximity to government buildings and officials. That from the FBI director Thursday, when he confirmed dozens of arrests and more expected to come in the deadly siege by a pro-Trump mob at the U.S. Capitol last week. Now, new court documents reveal the intent of the Capitol rioters was to capture and assassinate elected officials in the United States government. That's according to federal prosecutors. The stunning statement made in a motion against Jacob Chansley. He's the Arizona man filmed wearing face paint and wearing horns during the ransacking. He's facing charges in the attack, and prosecutors say he wrote a note to the U.S. vice president, leaving it at the very spot Mike Pence had been stationed right before the attack. The message read, it's only a matter of time. Justice is coming. And now the Washington Post reports that Pence was whisked to a room off the Senate floor just 60 seconds before rioters came upstairs outside the chamber entrance. Sweeping investigations into the attack still underway. Some House Democrats have said some Congress members and police officers may have helped perpetrate the assault. Nancy Pelosi says any lawmaker found to have been accomplices should face criminal prosecution. If they aided and abetted the crime, there may have to be actions taken beyond the Congress and, and uh, in terms of prosecution. This week, Donald Trump was impeached for an unprecedented second time for incitement of insurrection over the U.S. Capitol attack. Now, he has said he will not be attending Joe Biden's inauguration on January 20th. So what's he going to be doing? Well, U.S. media reporting his plan is to fly using Air Force One from Washington to Florida, headed to Mar-a-Lago hours before Biden is sworn in. Melissa Duggan, City News.